Hello everyone, it's System, and this is Glacial Awakening. Hope you're all well having a busy day. I myself, well, I'm having a pretty good one. So let's get back to this pack here. And yeah, just kind of progress. I have to say I'm loving the feel of the start of this pack. It's uh, pretty legit all the way around. And uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I have two episodes. I went ahead and I guess I got everything moved up here. I went back down my hole. I died. <laughs> and then when I died, I spawned down there anyway, because that's where my world spawn was. Then I came back up, brought all my stuff with me. And yeah, I got everything into this little building here. We were over, I guess, that way originally, and then I tore down the building, and this was the second building. I just kind of combined them. <laughs> just to give me a little more space here, because the building was like a three by three on the inside or something like that. Didn't have much room. But anyway, we got a home now, at least, so that is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and probably follow the quest line, so that is uh, also pretty cool. Uh, what I went ahead and did, I guess, in between episodes beside that was go ahead and mine some cobblestone. So I just got that from this like little mounted side over here. Actually, I can see the entrance. It's like right there. It's a little tiny cave to get me to the point where I can dig down to the ice and start mining. Because I think that's where we're mining in this pack. <laughs> I think anyway. So that is cool. And then I guess that was it. I went ahead and did this one too. Early storage. And I got this reward here. It's a little weird here. It's called a view. A Voltropic Inventory Explorer Workbot. Uh, if you have your items with chests, it's actually pretty cool. So if I actually right click with it and say I want to find sticks. Just do that, it highlights it on the chest. So I'm guessing it would do it too. You know, if you had a sea of chests, that's the easy way to find your stuff. So I thought that was kind of neat actually. I know actually Additions has like a hockey that does that. Oh, it's snowing. Last time it snowed, I got a bunch of mobs. <laughs> we may have to deal with this. Uh, we got head crumbs in this pack too. So you got extra mobs as well. So you got like these guys, which I'm guessing are like patrons or something of the pack dev. So that is a thing. Also the pack dev, um, he upgraded, not upgraded, updated the pack two more times, and he added all his socials up here. So if you want to hunt him down or find anything out about him or about the pack, I'm sure you can do it through these. So that is also pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with mobs here. This is unfortunate. But anyway, let's get rid of... This is actually the pack dev. <laughs> Al-132. So that's pretty cool. But, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. I've already died two more times to mobs, and then had to go down, back down to our hidey hole. So we definitely need to work on, uh, on uh, bed today. Also has that uh, mod that makes all the uh, mobs fall apart, <laughs> which is pretty neat. Let's go inside, man. Let's hide for a second. There we go. So what we're going to get to here is probably the main quest here. So we're just kind of follow it along, right? So it wants us to make a hammer, and we have four choices. And stone, I probably can't do yet because I don't think we can do a furnace. Actually, what is this? A masonry brick. What is this? <laughs> stone bricks. Yeah, we need to be able to cook stone uh, to be able to do that one, I think it looks like. Yeah, we do. So we can't do that one. Unless it'll use a uh, cobblestone slabs. I didn't check there. Let's go to cobblestone slabs. Will that work? Here, go to use on that. No, that won't work. Okay. So we can't do that one. Let's go ahead and back to the hammer. Not even sure what the hammer is going to be used for. Usually it's used for crushing or something, right? Where's the mining level on that is iron. Iron, iron. I guess they're all iron, so it doesn't matter. Probably go ahead and do this bone one. I already saw how to do the bone chunks too. So kind of like the flint there. So you break those little flint shards. We can just do that with bone. So it's kind of a alternative, uh, alternate material, I guess, to get the tools from. <laughs> Good uh, angry mob outside. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab that. And uh, we'll need a single piece of string as well. So do that. You can see I've actually fought quite a few mobs because they keep uh, hounding my house. But anyway, let's go to a bone hammer. Grab that. Sweet. And uh, I guess we need a couple sticks here. So let's grab you. Do that. And grab this. So there we go. We have this. We'll figure out what it does, I guess, in a few seconds here. Let's see what other quests we can grab, though. Gonna get some stone ladders, which will be very useful. Would have made going up and down to my little uh, old base there a lot easier. Looks like it's made out of actual stone, though. So I have to wait until we get stone. Uh, we can make a rock grinder. What's this take here? This is from uh, Sky Resources. It's actually, let's go see what it can get us actually. It's used to grind down materials, right? So cobblestone to gravel. Stone, oh, what is this? It's gravel to sand. Netherrack to crush netherrack. We can't We can't do anything with wood yet. That, oh, we can get uh, blue flint. Just showing us a drop here. And black quartz, what is that for? 30 black quartz, use. No use. <laughs> so I'm not sure what that's all about. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, make the rock grinder here. So we need to go ahead and grab some more heavy snowballs. We'll have to craft them. We've got a creepy zombie staring at me through the window, though. 
Nothing I can do about that this second. Do that. Go here. Do that. Grab you. Maybe go options. Uh, music and sound. I thought I had mobs way down. They still sound pretty cool. Uh, pretty loud there. Let's do that. Go ahead. Grab some heavy snow. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that has to go through the mini freezer. So I'll go ahead and pop that in there. And the rest was just a piece of cobblestone and a stick. So it looks like we're pretty good. There we go. Ice crystal. I'm guessing we're going to be doing that a lot, actually. So let's go to rock grinder. Probably go through a lot of these rock grinders, too. Uh, they're usually good for breaking down things. So that's pretty neat. Let's actually try it out, though. Let's grab you. Pop you down. Use a rock grinder. Just see if I can actually get gravel really easy this way already. That actually gave me a piece of gravel. It did awesome. So now when I need flint, it's actually an easy thing to do. So that's pretty cool. Grab you. And it's going to give us another grinder and a stone wand. Wand we'll be able to use for building. So that's pretty cool. Once it's getting the clay and also a wooden bucket. Bucket would be nice so we can get our torches and stuff. Our torches and sticks easier. So we might go ahead and do that. Plant fibers and three sticks. Probably could handle that. Let's go ahead and grab hopefully some plant fibers. So let's do you. Go ahead and see if we can get ourselves a bowl. Is that what it was? A bowl? I thought it was a bowl. Let's do here. A wooden bucket is what we need. Actually, let's just build it because it'd be easier than looking up. Let's just do you. Pop you here. And uh, what does it say about that one? I had to write up for this one. This bucket has limited durability that will deplete when it holds fluids. Okay, cool. So it looks sounds like it's just a um, short-term bucket. <laughs> we'll test it out here. I'd like to get some water like outside the base. Uh, pretty close. Let's go ahead and close that. See if we get some water. Are we get any mobs directly by? Of course we do. We're going to be doing the fighting. <laughs> I've been doing this non-stop, it seems. I need to get myself like in a cave or something, I guess, instead of this house. It's probably not going to pan out. It doesn't help that I have the snow right now. Get rid of you. Sweet. You're done. Okay. Let's see if we can get ourselves some water here. So we'll just go ahead and break that. Pick that up. And as we walk, yeah, the durability is slowly going down. So that's pretty cool. Cool, cool. Do that. And uh, oh, not that. That there. There we go. So now we got a little bit of water in our house and a way to move some around. So that's pretty useful. Uh, the next thing we'll do here, I guess. We already did that. What is this one here? Fleshy snow nuggets. <laughs> It's going to be some food, I suppose. Rod and flash and three snowballs. That sounds easy. So let's go ahead and grab three of them. Let's grab a run flesh, which I actually already had on me. So let's do that and that. And I'm guessing this is just uh, early game food. So that should be pretty easy. Yeah, fleshy snow nuggets. Actually, it's, that's got uh, pretty good saturation on it, too. Let's go ahead and eat that. This also has uh, the mod here. What's it called here? Is it Spice of Life? Carrot. Yeah, it's the carrot edition. Which I think basically means as you eat, uh, food gets less nutritious. So you eat it slower and slower and slower. And also as you eat, I, I don't know how many foods it is, but after you eat a certain amount, you get um, a certain number of hearts as well. So pretty cool mod there. Just another thing I have to worry about, of course. Anyway, let's go in here and see what the next quest is. We can go ahead and do this one. This is the one we have to do, I guess. It wants us to find clay. And then it looks like we're getting in the water strainer. And uh, that's going to be our first kind of automation, I guess. So that is pretty cool. Cool. Uh, I'm actually curious. Do we have access to hoppers early in this pack? We don't have a wooden hopper, do we? What are these ones? Speedy hoppers? I don't know those ones at all. Hopper enchantments? <laughs> Adept hopper? Oh, this one only takes stone. So once we have stone and the ability to make chest, we can make hoppers. That's actually pretty cool there. I like that. But anyway, we need to hunt down clay. So what's it say about clay? Clay can, clay can either be acquired by mining uh, underground or by mixing bone meal and crushed limestone. Let's find out that one. Limestone. Is that it there? Yeah, fluid to item transformation, uh, bone meal, crushed limestone. So is that actually from crushing it down? Oh, no, you can crush it down this way. Okay, that's what the hammer is going to be for. So the hammer is going to be for like crushing down rocks. Okay. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. So can I take, I'm curious about that hammer now. So if I took this hammer and grabbed, I do have a couple of limestone, but that isn't enough. I got that just in panic trying to get up from our uh, old base there. Oh, it won't go in this one. Huh. So you can't do it with the granite? Must be only certain materials. Okay. 
Good to know. So we are going to have to hunt down some limestone or some clay. So I'm probably going to run to our little um, start off of uh, a mining shaft, like I said, <laughs> which is uh, right over here. Hopefully there's not a lot of mobs in the way. I did bring some torches. And yeah, get to some mining here and see what resources we can get. Um, there's a lot of weird mobs too around. I guess passives. There's owls. Uh, there's deer. I think that. What is this one from? Mystical Lib. Yeah, there's deer. There's penguins. You saw beetles yesterday. I haven't seen the beetles again, actually. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Also, I found this too, this little ore here. Um, actually, before I show you, let's go ahead and get to E. Block of something down here at the door. <laughs> this is my doorway. There you go. But uh, this is uh, from Zen Ore, or Zencraft, I should say. And that's what was glowing when I was looking up uh, from underneath there. And it uh, looks like it's used to make mostly aesthetic blocks. So we go to at Zen. Yeah, just a lot of fancy uh, aesthetic blocks for us to build with. So that is pretty fantastic. And there's also Aquamarine over here from Hearthstone. So I don't even know that's, what that's about, but we can't mine it yet. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and dig down here. I don't think it's going to take very long to get down to the ice layer. I don't think the ice layer is very far down. So when you're digging, I guess in this pack, um, if we're going to be doing most of it right around this mining level, mining is going to be very easy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah, if I went, I guess I made a bunch of picks down. Not that I can really afford it. Actually, can we make a stone pick? I didn't even look at that. Stone pick? Because I may hey, head back for that. No, everything takes... Oh, yes, we can. Oh, that's so easy. Yeah, I'm going to end up doing that. Because I could just uh, excavate, right? And then grab most of the stuff that way. Like all the stone. Light the area up. Oh, look, we found some lead. And then, yeah, just mine super easy that way, I guess. It just speed things up. Grab you. I'm also just fade mine you. There we go. Maybe throw a torch up here. Speed. Just keep going. Yeah, hopefully I find some clay or limestone pretty quickly. We'll kind of see how it goes. It doesn't seem like the ores are very rare, to be honest. If this is going to be the only Y level in which we can actually mine, he's going to have to have most of the actual ores in this area, right? That's what, that's what I'm thinking anyway. See how it plays out. I know coming up we saw a nuclear craft ore. I know I saw limestone as well, and there was something else I saw too. I can't forget, or I can't remember. I think one was thorium. What is that there? Osmium? So we already got some mechanism. I don't think we're anywhere near tech, but uh, we just keep digging down. So anyway, I'll go ahead and just dig for a bit, see if I can find us some clay. If I find some clay or some limestone, uh, we can kind of push forward. Oh, nuclear craft, magnesium ore. So there you go, I'm back from mining. I actually have some limestone rock. I have some limestone as well. It gives you both, I don't understand why. You also get stone rock, so you just get all kinds of stuff. I found some Surtis, other stuff like we're not going to be able to use probably this forever. <laughs> but anyway, we have it. And then the lead as well. So finding some stuff and things, which is cool. Also found a fossil ore. And uh, yeah, it gives you a bunch of bone chars and a little bit of bone meal. And yeah, I kind of looked it up real quick. And it looks like you can just take that, hit it with a hammer, and get bone meal from it really quick, which is kind of neat. So nice, easy way to get bone meal. So we'll do that there. Um, I want to see too if we can get the infinite water source. That'd probably be a good idea, right? I kind of forgot about that. Let's grab you. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and grab pick here and do that. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to grab this quest. <laughs> we get some explosive heavy snowballs. Uh, I actually have had these things before. They're actually pretty fun. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go use a couple of them. We don't have any mobs out. But uh, we have some deer over here, <laughs> which I'm hoping drop leather. So we'll kind of see how that uh, works out. Anyway, we, we can blow them up. Don't 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 call PETA. <laughs> the snowballs aren't really that useful, but they're kind of funny, right? Having a snowball. Imagine throwing an explosive snowball at your friend in the middle of winter. <laughs> Ooh, some leather. There we go. Cool. So we've got two leather there. We're going to go check on infinite water, right? So let's go do that real quick. we got a water block right there. Why is that melting there? This blocks over it, I guess. Anyway, that's cool. Let's uh, see if this actually goes infinite, because uh, that was kind of an important test that I never did. I got a cave system around here somewhere too. I keep hearing the mobs. Yeah, they're under there. Under there, I guess. Have to deal with them at some point. Anyway, let's go inside. I keep having mobs like blow up. Uh, not mobs, I guess creeper uh, blowing up around me, <laughs> around my base. So I have all these little holes around here for now. So yeah, I'm not being very careful, I guess. I was going to go ahead and test water first, right? So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a pick here. That's cool. Let's do you and you. 
That's cool. And that. And sweet. We got infinite water. Cool. That's going to break, isn't it? Is that going to break while it's in my hand? I'm kind of curious. Yeah, it does. <laughs> we know. I'll have to make another one of those. But anyway, that handles that. That's pretty cool. So the next quest here was to actually get clay. And the clay we had realized it was going to take crushed limestone and bone meal. So I guess we can go ahead and do that. Crushed limestone. I guess we'll need some of the limestone here. Grab some of the rocks. And uh, it should be just this, right? There we go. It's going to take a little while to do this. I can't think of a fast way to do this, actually. It doesn't seem like there's a way to just hold the button down and have it come in. Yeah, probably going to need a hopper later on. If this is an ongoing thing, I guess we'll be using a hopper. But for right now, uh, we really don't have a hopper. <laughs> Once we get to that point, I guess. Do that. Let's do like 10. I think we get two for each recipe, right? At nine. That'll give us about 20 clay to kind of start there. Cool. Awesome. So to make the clay should be something like this. We'll throw in limestone. We'll throw in, what was the other one? It was limestone and bone meal. There we go. Do that. Isn't that what the recipe was? Limestone and bone meal? Crushed limestone and bone meal, right? Oh, did I just throw in, maybe I threw in the bone shards? I'll see here. Crushed, or I threw in limestone, didn't I? I'm a total derp. There we go. Oh, it uses the water source too. So it's a good thing I went ahead and uh, made infinite water, I guess. Oh, huh, okay, cool. Neat. That's really weird that it uses the source, though. Huh. Anyway, we got ourselves some clay. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and see if we can grab that quest there. Just some more apples. That's cool. Then it wants us to go ahead and make a strainer base and a survivalist strainer. What is a survivalist? That's a lot of string. How am I getting that? Oh, there was another kind of string there. Let's see. Because I, I don't think it's going to make us fight that many spiders right now, right? I have a little bit of string, but like I said, it's all for fighting spiders at this point. I don't see another method. So what is the other string? I need to get back to that. Let's go to uh, strainer. Check that out. Who's this one? Survivalist, right? Check that out. We've got animal hide strap. We use blue flint and pieces of leather. I don't know how to do that, though. <laughs> what is a cutter? Yeah, it doesn't look like we can make that. Yeah, I can't even make that cutter. At least not at this point. Is there another way of doing it? Maybe? Oh, no, no. I don't need a cutter. What am I talking about? Oh, no, I need the pieces of leather, though. <laughs> I'm such a dirt. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm being impatient. What was that other item that it showed? It showed a second item. I want to see it. Oh, it's going to make me wait till the durability bar goes across on this item because it's showing it as all different items. Before I could see it, it was like a little axe or something. Like a little small one? Oh, there it is right there. Butcher axe? Ah, let's try that. Let's go ahead and try a butcher axe. Uh, we got a bunch of that blue flint. Let's do that. Go ahead and try that butcher axe. That's cool. And then it was that. This was it? Yeah, we get these uh, piece of leathers. And then it was combined that with the flint, right? So it was this and this. Got little um, recipes that you could easily miss in this pack for sure. And that's a vanilla food pantry of all things. Anyway, that's cool. Let's go ahead and uh, try the strainer here. So we go strainer, check that out. And uh, we'll need a couple sticks here. Hopefully I got a bunch of torches. I do. Go ahead and do you, toss you in. There we go. Get a bunch of wood or sticks, I should say. Got ourselves a strainer. And I wanted this one here, right? The survivalist. So let's make that one there. Then make the survivalist. Cool. And what's the drops in this? So the survivalist can get a stone dust, granite, dirt, flint, and bone shards. What can this one get? Let's see the base level one. This one can get... Oh, this one can get me stone. Why didn't he make me get this one? Stone. Because we can't even make stone. I can't even smelt it right now. But I could get that stuff I was looking for earlier. Oh, maybe I'll make both. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab the strainer and set it up. I believe this works more efficiently when it's in running water. So maybe I'll put it like right here for now. Even though I'm probably going to keep falling in the uh, water. But that's fine. Actually, that needs to go one more down. I totally derped. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Yeah, this has a whole efficiency system. And I forget how it works with the strainer. But, uh, I remember running water is better. So let's do that. Then we'll go ahead and grab the survivalist, pop that right there. 
and uh, see if that starts getting things. I already got a flint shard. Okay, so what's it want us to get from this one then? So we gotta do check this out here. Like I don't even know what it wants us to get. Maybe stone dust? Mysterious fertilizer. I don't even know what's going on here. And stone dust blocks. If placed near water, will eventually become dirt. Hmm. Weird. Okay, so we have a strainer now, and that'll start getting us resources. And like I said, I'll probably go ahead and make this one as well. Cause uh what why is it showing that? The combustion heater. Um, we'll start getting stone and clay as well, so that would be cool. Um, let's look at the next quest though. Let's go ahead and grab you a food book from Spice of Life. What's actually in that one? Overview, eight. So at 15, once we eat 15 different foods, uh, we'll get another heart. Or is it two more hearts? Two heart per milestone. So we actually get two more hearts. That's pretty cool. Hearts gained, you can only gain 10. So that's cool. Oh. Neat. Oh, it shows you everything A too. So that's actually a pretty cool book. We'll keep that around. Anyway, let's go in here. Next thing it looks like it's going to make us fertile soil. We need to make this. It's going to be clay blocks, a bone shards, and some dirt. And that actually looks really easy. You should probably read the write up on that one too. I'll do it in a second. They don't all have write ups, I noticed. So anyway, let's go ahead and grab some fertile. Fertile. I'll probably have to make a block of clay too. Okay, we can make it that way. That's cool. Grab some fertile dirt. Oh, this actually has a write-up on it. Increases the speed at which saplings grow over it. May turn dirt into grass. Okay, cool. So that's cool. That one's taken care of. Uh, maybe. Grab you. Get some bone meal. And now it's telling me I can finally get saplings somehow. This is what I'm going for. So what the heck is this? Stone dust block. So that's the stone dust we're supposed to be getting from the strainer, apparently. And we need three of those fertile soils. Um, is that really what it was? Three? <laughs> I don't want to believe it. Do that. Okay. So how's this work though? I don't understand how we're getting this. Okay. So two mutation paste, which comes from the block of it that we need to make on a cave root. And that'll give us our sapling. Okay. This is a little, really strange. Like I'm enjoying it. Very much enjoying it. But it's a really different start to a pack because knowing there's tech in this pack, it's not a solid magic pack, but they're making us do this kind of weird, kind of very low tech stuff. I, I really, I'm really, I'm digging it basically. So that is cool. Anyway, let's go grab a bunch of dirt. Uh, we got some bone shards. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and grab two more fertiles. Let's do you. And hopefully, we got some of that stone dusty stuff. We do. And hopefully, this was just a combine. It is too. So that's awesome. And we want one of those mutation blocks. I can't remember what the rest of the recipe was. Uh, wasn't here. It was in this one. There we go. Mutation paste blocks. And it's just bone shards. So it's just bone shards on top of bone shards on top of bone shards. Okay, let's go to you. I guess paste. Check that out. There we go. Can we actually make this? We can. Awesome. So we just turned it to that. And it was two of these, right? And uh, one root. Cave root. Sweet. We might actually have a tree. <laughs> I need an actual crafting grid though. It is nighttime. Hopefully my tree doesn't get blown up. Let's do you and you. And we get two saplings. Awesome. So we have a sapling here, but I feel like I should make another fertile dirt. So hopefully we have enough here. Let's grab you. Fertile. Check that out. Oh, we got all the uh, fertile soils from everything actually. But yeah, let's not worry about that right now. Fertile soil, and I feel I should plant this because uh, having a tree sounds like a good thing. Let's uh, go deal with this. Kind of do it quick. <laughs> sweet. Toss you down. And sweet. Now, do we have... Ooh, can you not do that? I'm not really in the mood for this right now. Oh, yeah, my sword broke too. I should make a sword. <laughs> I want to go check that tree and see if we have torque in here, actually. Um, I doubt it, but it's a possibility, right? Let's do you. Go ahead and grab you. Grab ourselves a bone sword this time. We're going to do one more hold damage. Oh, the tree already grew too. So yeah, we got trees now. We actually have trees. That's amazing, actually. Check that out, man. We got a tree. It's a thing. Cool. This is the progression so cool in this pack. I'm loving this. Um, I don't know if there's a good way to break the leaves, or should I just break the leaves? I saw there was crooks, right? So maybe there's a crook I can make uh, before I actually do that. Let's go in here. Check that out and uh, see what we got for crooks. 
We got a bone one. We could just do it with four bones or four antlers. But I believe I have bones. So let's do you. I seem to get tons of bones anyway, so I'm not even concerned. Let's do that. That. How's my food doing? I notice I keep missing it in those packs. Uh, I was so used to looking at the top left. I need some of these here. Some of these uh, fleshy bits. Fleshy snow nuggets. I love the name. That's great. There we go. That'll get our health up good and quick. And uh, it's probably fight time. Come on. You gonna make me bring it? Take that, Herja one. Yeah. I got a beastly sword now. Let's try this crook now. Now, is that actually gonna like up? <gasps> Don't blow up my tree. And what's this? What? Is there blood moons in this pack? What, what's going on? Weren't all those mobs red for a second? Or did I eat some funny mushrooms? <laughs> I'm really confused. I swear all those mobs were red for a second, like completely red. I don't know what that was. That was actually really strange. It might have been just a graphical glitch, I guess. Huh. That really confused me. I really just want to get to my tree. Please let me get to my tree. There we go. Maybe. Finally, I can get to this tree. I want to try this crook. Crook's important. I'm getting a good amount of saplings. We got six. That isn't horrible. And then I guess we could just cut down a tree normally. Sweet. We got some wood. And we did it. We got wood. We're, we're, we're amazing. We got stuff. So did I actually get my quest complete? I did too. So let's go ahead and grab that one. Oh, it gave me a crook anyway. Me panicking for a crook and I got it anyway. And it gave me my fertile soil. So I just did stuff I didn't need, but at least we have more. We're going to need more for trees anyway, so that's pretty fantastic. And can I make a bed? Do I have enough string still? I don't know. Let's see here. Let's do that. We have wood now, so we might be able to make it. I should look at the recipe first. Let's go to bed. Check that out. Oh, what's this recipe down here? This one's easier. It, only, it takes less wool. Let's see if we can actually do that one with regular wool. Do that. And then... We would need... Actually, I don't even know if we can use wood like that, can we? In this one? We can, but we only get two? Really? Huh. They're going to make us fight for it in this pack. This is actually pretty cool. I, I'm sure it won't be too far in before we actually get uh, two logs, actually, per wood. But to start, obviously not. And I need this too much, so let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. I can't get the bed that way. Are you serious? What are these ones? Oh, it's llama. Dag nabbit. So I guess I need to kill two more spiders. Unless I can make wool with that uh, leather stuff, actually. I didn't see that. Oh, we can use that. Awesome. So let's get some stuff dropped off real quick. Let's do you. And we got a leather. And what was it? It was this plus this axe plus a blue flint, right? So let's do you. Take that. Take that. That looks good. Pop you out. Probably do this right here. Go ahead and grab you. We've got some fancy string. We're still going to get a bed, boys. It's going to be done. <laughs> cool. Sweet. And hopefully sweet. We got a bed. Awesome. So I can finally start sleeping through these waves of mobs. I mean, I'm going to have to set it up so I can actually fit a bed here somewhere. Um, but for temporarily, I guess, this works. So yeah, that's awesome. We actually made a lot of progress here. So we did a thing. <laughs> oh no, there's mobs. Did we get any quests I can accept though? Oh, we also got a satchel. We got actually a backpack too, so I have room. Oh, everything's come together. This pack is fantastic. Um, we're going to be in the crate soon. That's awesome. And okay, I'm just out here just uh, farming our new trees, which is uh, pretty cool all around. I haven't seen any apple drops yet. Maybe they're just really low. I guess, uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll see here. Food is kind of an issue in this pack. Especially with Spice of Life, but I'm sure we'll kind of sort that out as we go. But we'll kind of do that and that. I noticed these grow really quick too. Like, look at that. Bam. That isn't torque. That is just that soil. It grows things that quickly, which is really awesome. And uh, we'll make that really easy. So we won't have to worry about that very much. Um, bonsai is in the pack too. So later on, we'll be able to kind of do the bonsai thing as well. But uh, for now, this works great. Just uh, perfect. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap this video up here so as always guys like this video please hit that like button it really liked it hit that subscribe button it is always appreciated well you guys have a good one see you guys next video later